I think the responsibility of anyone elected to office is to make sure that those that don't have voices are heard. And there have been great stories of success and defeat over the course of my legislative career, but in the end it always seems that we can make a difference. My name is Jackie Spear. I'm a former member of Congress, a former member of the State Senate, the State Assembly, and the Board of Supervisors in San Mateo County. I have spent over 40 years in public office, and I think my purpose has been one of articulating the needs of those who don't have voices and to uh, transform those injustices into legal results that provide an equal playing field for everybody. It probably starts back when my father, who thought I could do anything. And while I wasn't born at UCSF, uh, my first home was in a flat very close to the Parnassus campus. And I've always had a great affinity for the university. And then I represented UCSF for over 30 years. I'm also the product of the UC system, first at UC Davis and then at UC Law, formerly Hastings. And those experiences, I think, played a, a significant role because when I was at UC Davis, I ended up working for then Assemblyman Leo Ryan as an intern and then eventually as a staffer. That's how it all began. How is Jackie Spear when you live? She's alive, very glad to be alive. Uh, she's had her share of traumas dealing with the, the months that have transpired. And the frustration with the lack of uh, support and action by the State Department, by our U.S. Congress. I believe that politics is personal and politics is local. And for me, uh, the combination of that experience in Jonestown with Congressman Ryan uh, being shot five times and left for dead on that airstrip empowered me to probably take on issues that I wouldn't have taken on but for the fact that I had looked death in the eye and I wasn't afraid anymore. I believe I'm the only member of this house that is a victim of gun violence. I live with that every single day. We have to do something about it. I wasn't afraid to take on the prison guards union. I wasn't afraid to take on the banks and the insurance companies and the credit card companies. And it also gave me the sense that, you know, you just never give up. Sexual assault and harassment will not be tolerated. We pay your bills. It took me 10 years to get sexual assault cases taken out of the chain of command in the military. And all the work on reproductive health has been a cornerstone of my legislative career. That procedure that you just talked about was a procedure that I endured. And to suggest that somehow this is a procedure that is either welcomed or done cavalierly or done without any thought is preposterous. I've just never shrunk from a good fight, I guess. <laughs> One of the great opportunities that UCSF provided me during all these decades was the opportunity to put a spotlight on issues and bring experts from UCSF in to talk about them. We did programs on aneurysms. We did programs on breast cancer. We did the Young Women's Health Conference. And I think the spirit of San Francisco is what you see at UCSF every day. And in the end, after all those years I've spent in Congress and in the state legislature, you know, politics really is local. And so I decided to run for the Board of Supervisors again. It's a job I had 44 years ago to make sure that every child in San Mateo County isn't living in poverty. Elected officials have an obligation to learn what the needs of those they represent. And I like making things better. I like fixing problems. And so 
I'll be doing that probably to the end.